but I have a question about highlighting. Um, like, how uh, reliable is the, the highlighting function on the LSAT Flex? Because I, I found that, like, doing that on Khan Academy, that it, it's very helpful to me, and I don't know if it's going to glitch. That tool is clunky. It doesn't work that well. So I wouldn't rely too much on it in, because it's not very precise, unfortunately. So a lot of the ones you'll find uh, from prep companies that are simulating it or even Khan Academy might actually work better than LSAC's own tool, ironically. Strange, but how it is. So I wouldn't count on using it precisely. I would say steer clear of those tools and instead rely upon your own notes on your own scratch paper because your own writing on the page is undoubtedly going to be more reliable and clear than what they're doing. And Jackie also problematized some, some things about the idea of highlighting in general, which I also happen to agree with. It's not always exactly where they're referring to in the question. And you may have to look elsewhere, even within the passage to find what you truly need. So yeah, the understanding I think is the most important thing and extracting your own takeaways from the passage, I think will, will typically serve you best. That's a little like worrisome to me because like I sometimes highlight like key concepts and that helps me like go like zoom directly to what they're talking about. So you can highlight. It may just take a little bit of clicking around to highlight exactly the thing that you want to highlight. I'm not saying it's not going to work. It'll work, but it may take a few more clicks than you were expecting. Okay. Do you think that might like slow someone down during like, because of like the nerves of the test and like get in the, the way of like, are like our thinking depends on the person it could potentially i'm not i'm not trying to scare anybody i'm just setting expectations that it may take a few more clicks whether that would throw you off i can't say exactly but it would throw me off yeah in that case then maybe yeah in that case then maybe don't rely on it too much and rely more on the scratch paper but if you want to prepare yourself adequately the best thing you could do is at least go on law hub Law, LSAC's Law Hub has over 60 exams in the digital LSAT format, which is actually the same as the Flex format. So you'll be served with both of those okay. there. And obviously we're Flex for the short term. Okay. Um, and is there like a cost to the LSAC Law Hub? Or? Yeah, I'm, pu I'm putting a link for it in the chat. Yeah, it's okay. $99 for a year of access. You get over 60 exams in the digital format. You're getting approximately exam 20 through exam 89. So it's the relatively more recent exams out of all of those that have ever been released. And that's a resource that, that you would recommend? Absolutely. It's real LSAT exams. So there's, it's an alternative to getting them in the books of 10 on Amazon. It's an alternative to using PDFs. And because it simulates what I imagine everyone here is going to be doing, either flex or digital, whether pandemic or not, that's going to be your format, assuming you're in North America. Those outside North America, Maybe they would have paper in a non-pandemic world, but I'm saying I'm expecting that we'll, we'll have Flex for, around for quite a while. Oh, and you think that's better than like Khan Academy has these like practice tests and they like have you like align when to take them. But those are real I, exams noticed, too. Those are real exams. So that's good too. Yeah, those are real exams. That's good too. But so like, okay. But Law Hub has more and 10 okay. exams isn't enough. Right. Okay. Yeah, click, check out the links I, I've shared for more and look up Law Hub for more. Thank you. Of course. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.